We have traveled the stars. We've traveled through time. We came across one unmistakable truth. The future is wrestling. We've brought the best wrestlers from across time and space to compete for honor and glory. This is Stones Galactic Wrestling Federation. What the universe is watching. to SG WF because that's hard to say Titans it's the men's show all men's wrestling tonight uh, we will be having 12 matches tonight uh, first uh, we're going to address a little uh, little bit of info uh, here I'm flying through space um, we, uh, created a new show on Sunday night because we have, uh, too many matches to put in for me to be able to do them all in one night. So, um, we had our first one last night where it's a mix of men and women, and we're going to do that for, for the foreseeable future where we'll still have Titans be our men's show. Uh, tomorrow night is, uh, Paragons is our women's show and Galactic Wrestling will be our men and women show will be the extra matches uh that we can't fit in everywhere else so uh tonight we are uh going to start with lavistus uh he called out zorts the goblin um last week and they had a little bit of uh, a little bit of a brawl in the middle of the ring Something about ketchup. I mean, apparently, Levis Le is all about the ketchup on steak. Zorts is not, and they got into a scuffle. I believe Levisus went to. Uh, he actually interfered in a match. Cost uh, I don't remember who it was. Cost somebody else the match, and Levisus won by, or sorry, Zorts won by DQ because Levisus came in and attacked him. But we're gonna hear what he has to say. Uh, we do have the tickets are up. So, exclamation mark ticket. If you want to buy tickets for the boss battle. And we're going to start that right now. Right meow. There is Lovistus coming on out. Greased up as ever. It looks like he's still angry. Seems like this guy's always angry. Yes, Lavistus. What? What, dude? What? Cut the music. Yes. He has to wait another second. I mean, this dude. Um, I mean, he's wrestling with uh, his problems where he just can't deal with Zorts not liking ketchup on steak. And I believe he also alluded to something about mayo as well. There's a lot of things that happen backstage. Wow. So things that you don't know about. All I can say is someone back there betrayed me. That's why I'm out here tonight. Wow. What did Zorts do? Because you know what? I, it's 100% sure Lavistus is going to be calling out Zorts. Now, did Zorts put some special sauce in Lavistus' sandwich? Right? Was it mayo? But it wasn't mayo. I mean, who knows what Zorts would do, right? I mean, whose side do we take here? I mean, I personally, I like mayo. But I also do not like 
do 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 not believe ketchup on steak is a thing and here is zorts the goblin there is the music for the huge green man there he is he's been called out once again both of these men are in action tonight Where is Zorzo? Uh, I need to do the things and stuff. Right, there we go. Okay, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Zorz is uh, he's perfectly happy sitting there back in the dressing room with everyone waiting. He was so amused about what you said. Yes, I put mayo in your sandwich. <laughs> you put mayo in my sandwich. Was it mayo or was it secret sauce, Zorts? I mean, look at me. I'm dressed up where I don't care, but really, I need to know what is going to go in me. What? Like, what food am I eating? That's what I meant. Oh, Zorts is all riled up. <laughs> Saying, listen, you're going to take this mayo because mayo is disgusting. And you're going to eat it. And I swear if I see you putting ketchup on steak again, I'm going to take you down. <laughs> oh, I'm going to put ketchup on steak again. I'm going to put it all over. I'm going to slather. I'm going to put, I'm going to get the Heinz special stuff. Like even the purple ketchup. And just slather it on a well done steak. <laughs> uh, wait, what? What? A well a well a well done? Did you say that you get your steaks well done? What's the matter with you? It should never be well done. Hey, LB. Hey, Wolfpack. As I hit my mic. Levisus is just not sure what to say. He's like, look. I can have... I, I like my meat well done. Just like you will be well done when I'm done with you. I mean, I don't write this stuff, man. Thank, and thank God I don't write this stuff. <laughs> I, I need somebody to write this stuff. Zorts is like, oh, like me, well done? Oh, and Zorts once again. Surprise attack on Levistus, and the crowd is just completely stunned. They're so shocked. They're in awe. There is literally no crowd sound. Nothing. Crazy. Crazy, man. Man. Now, if only there was a way around this. You know what? There actually is a way around this. I could load up my crowd sound. I have it low. You can't believe this happened? I can't believe it either, LB. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my god, Zorts takes out Levistus. Now I believe uh Levistus did whoop Zorts's arse last week. So this is uh now they're one for one. Or they're now they're even. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, we're gonna load up the next match. Do, 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 do. Yes, LB, you can have a uh, ticky. <laughs> One ticky for LB.
One ticky for LB. Wow, why is it taking so long to load? And where is my crowd sound? I'm sure I have a crowd sound. This one? Music? No, it's not. It shouldn't be under music. Clips? Yes. Clips. Uh, nope. Audio. Crown, crowd sound effects for one hour. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. Okay. We got that going. All right. Match is loaded up. Start the betting shortly. Starman. Starman. The following du -du 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 -du. is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Mexico. Weighing in at 220 pounds. Superstar Man. And another one. Oh. And his opponent, accompanied by the Destroyer, and from parts unknown, weighing in at 180 pounds, the Snake. Cobra Commander is going to go one on one against Starman. So now we can do this with the third shows. We can have. All wrestlers will be able to wrestle once a week. Everyone will be able to get a shot at a match, even if it's an N even if it's an NPC. And with NPCs being 90s now, that should uh, help move some of them a little bit further up in the rankings. Here we go. Jeffy calls for the bell. Cobra Commander will start off with a bunch of rights and lefts. And then a Russian leg sweep takes down the pink man. El, El Pinko, as I like to call him. And uh, Cobra Commander's uh, manager, buddy, Destro, likes that. As you can see, his arms were waving in the air. But Starman uh, replying with a DDT is taking it to Cobra Commander now. And again, C Cobra Commander with the shots to the face. Here we go, into the ropes, and uh, Cobra Commander drops down. Another drop down. And another drop down. And we'll hold up here. Oh man, Hurricane Rana. Down goes Cobra Commander. Zorts the Goblin cheered for 100 bits, lurking while playing Friday the 13th. Thank you, Zorts. Cobra Commander was starting to come back, and Starman retaliates the flying forearm a la Tito Santana, and now starts to have words with Destro. Dave DeHunter, I see it in the chat. I don't know why it's not showing up on the screen. But thank you very much, Dave, for resubbing. 
maybe there's just a delay in stream elements bot doing it i don't know but thank you very much dave i'm very sorry very sorry for all this nonsense but you know what you're getting into now cobra commander with a knee left i don't know why it's not uh it's not showing up i'm i'm very sorry on uh behalf of the bot We're at a seven count. We're going to get that long eight. Starman throws in Cobra Commander. And there was the eight. Jeffy with that super long eight count. There's a butterfly German suplex. Now Starman going to the top. Way up there. And delivers a flying elbow. Hooks the leg. Only gets a two count. A L B. So I like the I like the letters down the T. It looks it looks better than it did before. I think I think I think we have a keeper here. At least for the timing. Oh no, was that was that a low blow? I don't know. Jeffy was like right there. Why didn't wouldn't he call that? Hey Quinn, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good night. And Cobra Commander's up and down he goes. Sit down, power bomb. Cobra Commander is in big trouble. That was a bit of a power move for this dude. And he'll hook the leg. And Starman only gets a one count. Because he's a Starman. There's only one. So only gets one count? I, I don't know. Kick to the midsection. Cobra Commander slugs or batters. Starman down to the mat and gloats to the crowd, turns to the crowd and says, you know what? This is what you're going to get. You know, this is what you can expect if you join our awesome group. Plus, wor plus world uh, world uh, domination, too. The commander only had a two count there, but uh, the pink star man is in trouble. It looks like Cobra Commander's got him up. On oh no! Oh my goodness! Hung him up on the top rope and kicked him between the legs. Yikes! And Jeffy again did nothing. Uh, looks like a small package. He's got him in there. Two and three. Cobra Commander. Gets the win. Oh, oh wait, no. Cobra Commanders turns back, looks, looks down. Gonna prove a point. Do not cross him. Cobra. There is your winner, Cobra Commander. <laughs> All right. What do we got? Uh, I don't know if we're going to have a tag team match next or another uh, yappy segment. We are going to have a yappy segment. Vincent Johnson wants his turn up at the mic. Uh, last night, uh, Johnson was having a match with the Million uh, Doll Aller Man. And LB Fraga came out and assisted Johnson. Now, there was a brief instant there where Johnson had a pin attempt, but, uh, did, dis but did distract the ref from, ma from making the pin count. And that brief little thing that made us think, well, maybe LB wasn't there to help out Vincent Johnson. Johnson's like, I'm out here because you saw what happened last night. Oh, my God. I can't do that. I, I need somebody to write this stuff for me. You know what would be good? 
You know what would be great? Is if we had somebody come on the show for segments like this and actually say the lines for each of the wrestlers. That would be awesome. Because I, I'm not good at that. But here we go. Johnson, this, this, this guy makes jokes. And he came out last night. I thought he was there to help me. But uh, LB Fraga, you can either come out here, face me like a man, or I'll come back out back there and find you. Either way, he's going to get his hands on him. I guess Vincent Johnson saw the tape of LB messing around with the ref while he had the pin count going. Well, well while he had Ted DiBiase covered. And he's none too happy about it. Look at that hairy, greasy behemoth. There is LB. Comes on, <laughs> comes on out. Looks like LB's pretty mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 man. Look, it look, looked like Vincent Johnson was a little bit scared of... Uh, I mean, look at the height difference between these two. LLB's head is right at Johnson's chest. It's it's like he's looking he's ye he's yelling at Johnson at, at the hair on his chest. Listen, I don't like the hair on your chest, LB says. And I think it's high time that somebody did something about it. Johnson's like, "What? Wait, what?" Yeah, yeah uh, wait, you're talking about my chest hair? What's the matter with my chest hair? That means I ate lots of Brussels sprouts when I was a kid. And listen, this chest hair helps me deliver my pizzas. My meat lover's pizzas. <laughs> LB, you have to come and write and write <laughs> and write this stuff. <laughs> Well, it was hot. It was about time, you know. You know, I came out there. I'm like, you can't even see LB. He's just being covered by Vincent Johnson's massive girth. I I don't even know what LB just said. Uh, I think I got snippets of "I'm gonna shave you myself." Johnson, I don't think takes too kindly to that. Not sure he wants anybody to shave him. I mean, he's got massive amounts of hair. Arms, legs, back, face, chest. Um. <laughs> Helby says, I was trying to help you, you dumb oaf. But. Uh. <laughs> This is exactly what happens to myself when I lower myself to your level. See? He is a doof. A doof. Oof. A doof is a dumb oof. Right? <laughs> Good lord. Johnson just isn't sure he quite gets it. It's like, wait, did you just call me a doof? Well, first, take the bass out of your voice when you talk to me. <laughs> okay. So... I'm not sure Johnson really likes LB's voice mo voice mo voice modulation uh, techniques. But maybe it's something that comes with the VR. May may maybe it's a little something extra. I hate to break it, but you know and I know that you're never really going to make it here. Well, I think LB is a little mistaken here. You know, you, you should go quit now and do something you're actually good at, like flipping burgers. I mean, this is one half of the tag team champions. I think he's done pretty well for himself. He was also a Twitch champion as well. <laughs> There's a lot of trash coming out of your mouth. Sure you're ready to back it up? Oh, man. Now, is LB going to look into the future... Split second into the future with his VR goggles, as we all know that he can do. 
And is he going to take his chance to deck him? No, nope, does not look like it. Johnson is like, you know what? I'm going to take you. I'm going to break you in two. And then I'm going to give you to LaVistus to have his way with you. And boy, you don't want that. Melby's <laughs> like, yeah, you know what? Maybe I don't want that. Wow, so uh, Vincent Johnson has threatened to break Elby and sick LaVistus on him. <laughs> All right. So some of the things, um, I can't delete these callouts. I wish I could, but I can't. So And it actually eats a match. There, There is a way around it, but it doesn't work all the time. And I tried it, and it didn't work for me this time. Uh, so we're going to have a tag team match. We're going to have the Warriors 2 go one, go head to head. Against Axe and Smash. We're going to start the betting now. We're going to start the betting right now. So yeah, if you have 2K19 on PC. I'm not sure if it works for PS4 or anything like that. But from what I understand, this is a PC only thing. Um, and you have one of these cards uh, that go into like a match uh, uh, slot. Um, if you go to the wrestler and change their crowd reaction from cheer to boo or boo to cheer, like if you change it to the op, to the opposite of what it currently is, it's supposed to remove that wrestler from doing a call out and it has worked but not all the time and uh so when it does happen like this it kind of puts me in a bit, little bit of a bind because it means that a show where i'd normally have seven matches which is your maximum i can only have six or five depending on how many things that they have right which also makes me feel like I want to turn off rivalries, but I kind of, I don't. On the way you know, to the so race, it's... At a combined weight it's, of I, I don't know. 70 pounds, King Russ Hicks. There we go, shout out for King Russ And Sir Garrick. The owner of Rustic Thor. And Sir Garrick. Warriors 2 had a shot of the tag team title uh, two weeks ago and got completely crushed. But they are still the number one tag team. Uh, Demolition, who they will be facing now, is number two. So we could potentially have this see this match again in about two weeks from now. Because we need to determine who will be the number one contending team to take on the Grinders at the Queen of the Ring pay-per-view on June 15th. There is Axe and Smash. Actually, it's Mr. Fuji, Jojo. Why is it got to be about color? Dang right. Demolition. One of the greatest tag teams. I I, I don't know which I would rank higher for me. Um, these two or uh, the heart or the heart found Dation. I kind of lean towards Bret Hart and them, but like the hearts, but these guys, man, they, they, they just, they were, I love them, man. As soon as they came out, I was like, yep, that's my team. They were awesome. Here we 
we go. Axe is going to get the start against Rustic Thor. Jeffy calls for the bell, and here we go. Uh, ooh, a little kick to the shin, and uh, followed up by a big backbreaker. Over the top neckbreaker. Uh, Rustic Thor is uh, no longer doing any of the grappling. He's just going to go right in there with the power moves. Thor, a huge blow to the head. They want to make sure that Axe and Smash cannot rise any higher up in the ranks. Um, while that is true, though, too, they also need to keep an eye out for uh, for, El for Eldrin the Butcher and Wolfpack. They hold the men's Money in the Bank briefcase. And they can use that at any time. Axe has got Rustic Thor... Hit up into the corner, choking him out. Down he goes. And now I'm going to have my hair cider. Smashes him now. Drops an elbow. One way you can always tell which one is which is... Smash has got the blue knee pad although i did see matches where axe had the blue knee pad i have seen those whoa <laughs> smash just ran in there and just stopped he was like you know what no i'm just gonna stop right there smash will tag in axe and rustic thor off the ropes two big elbows there goes rustic thor can't get can't get over for a tag <laughs> Axe is just mean. Or into the turnbuckle, turns around, taken out by a clothesline. The fans are not liking this at all. You can hear them quite, uh, quite clearly, just booing away as Axe hammers away on Rustic Thor. Axe trying to wear down the warrior. The the god of thunder, although I don't know if he really is the god of thunder. I haven't seen him wield uh, Thor's mystic mule mu all here. Oh no, Thor up to his feet and double shoulder tackle. Thor will tag in Sir Garrick for the first time. Sir Garrick levels Smash. Once again, oh man, elbow right to the nose. And another one takes Smash down. Shifted that momentum right around. Wow, Sir Garrick going in for an early cover only gets a one count. Shocking. Big, big drop kick. So uh, for the men's matches, I am gonna, I was gonna put boss matches uh, on the men and women shows, but oh, holy crud! Sir Garrick with the uh, springboard moonsault gets the win. Wow, what's with the double music? 2K19 has just lost his mind playing both both of their both of their entrance musics. Tracks, things. Hmm. 2K19 is drunk tonight. Uh, Warriors 2 are your winners. Good lord. That was a whole lot of noise right there. Alright, we've got the Junkyard Dog is going to go head-to-head -head with Destro. Perfect game in comparison to 2K20. Yes, I completely agree. Completely agree. Man, I wish I could go into the code <laughs> and just 
tweak the crap I need to get tweaked, you know, and just fix it. But, ah, uh, well. Um, have any of you watched the AEW? Uh, oh, drunk again. Um, match that happened on Saturday? Was it Saturday? It was like, I, I, I didn't know where I could get hit it, but I also heard it was like 50 bucks. And it's like, uh, I'm not paying 50 bucks American for it. Eh. And then by the time I was thinking about it, then I think it was already over. But I heard that they're doing good. Uh, not really a fan of Mike uh, Tyson. But apparently he is there, and I'm not, and it's like, eh, like, no thanks. There is Destro, the arms home, supplier for Cobra. The Bear and S. And from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 240 pounds, the Destroyer. The Destroyer, otherwise known as Destro. So I heard that they were doing like a Money in the Bank sort of like that, like that kind of thing where they had like a Vegas gambling chip, I guess, up in the top, and you had to reach for it and grab it. And the person that gets it gets a championship shot or something. I did see that Dean Ambrose is like their champion, John John Moxley. Uh, I don't know if I was ever really a fan of his, um, but their belt? Oh my god, their belt is amazing. Their belt is this, it's massive. Like that is a freaking that that's a championship belt. Destro is unloading on the JYD. Kick after kick. And into the steel post. Oh no. Chunk your dog is not 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 gotten off on the right foot tonight. We'll go in for the cover. Destro gets a one, two, Junkyard Dog kicks out. Again, uh, Irish whip into the corner. And oh man, missed with the headbutt. JYD takes him down, starts unloading on the mask. Uh, I don't know if that's going to hurt Destro more or his fists. Seemed to uh, do enough damage. Down goes Destro. Junkyard Dog headbutts Destro. And you can see that that was the wrong move. He clearly was on the bad end of that headbutt, even though he was the one that delivered it. <laughs> and Destro is now in control of the match. A simple error like that could could be all it. Destro going in for another cover. Only a one count, though. <laughs> Oh, Destro. Junkyard Dog will trip him up. Start to fight back. Turns him over into a half Boston Crab. Destro. Is he going to tap? He's right near the ropes. And he'll turn over and kick out of it. Wow, Junkyard Dog with a drop kick. I don't think I've ever seen him do anything like that. Now he's having words with the uh, Baroness. Destro took exception, 
couldn't do anything with it and gets power slammed for his trouble. And almost gets pinned. Gets his arm up at two. Junkyard Dog now has him in a camel clutch. Duster trying to break free. Grabs the arms and finally does. Trips up JYD. Delivers a spine buster to the dog. And in comes a chair, as any responsible manager should do. Get a chair in there. Help out your help out your uh, client. Destro with the cover. Got one, two, and three. Destro defeats the chunky heart dog. Cobra Commander won tonight. Destro won tonight. Things are looking up for Cobra, it seems. Huh. I didn't fix I didn't I didn't fix anything. They're all at 90s. <laughs> Man. Junkier dog almost had him right there. And that was the finishing. This was the finishing move. Just dropped him. Boom. Big power bomb. Night, night. I think uh, you can see Junkyard Dog is gasping for air. Just had the wind knocked right out of him. Here is your, is your winner. The Destroyer. The Destroyer is your winner. He likes the boos. He likes all of those boo birds. It doesn't bug him. Not at all. All right, we have Rustic Thor is going to go one on one against Demon Rissica. Demon Rissica ranked second overall. Uh, Rustic Thor is ranked uh, two, four, six. Sixth. Uh, so I've been doing a slightly different matchmaking for these singles matches and for some of the triple threat stuff. Um, we'll get um, a couple matches where you'll have the wrestlers from the top 10 will fight against each other. And then you'll have a wrestler from the mid 10 and then a face off against a wrestler from the bottom 10. So then it's... So at least there's oh, options for people to move around. Yeah. Clearly a rig night, yep. Here is Rustic Thor. We saw him earlier tonight with the Warriors 2 defeating a Demolition. I wonder how he is doing. So I know he was going to move and then uh, we weren't. he wasn't sure if he was going to be able to move because of COVID and all that. Sleepy. Sleepy Stone is sleeping. Now we won't get all of the top 10 trying to fight each other, but we'll get one or two matches per week set up like that. This is a happening. And here is Demon Rissica. Owned by Sun Two. And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 310 pounds, Demon. Demon Rissica. A win here may actually put him up into the number one spot, which is held by the Twitch champion Sephiroth. Sephiroth will be defending his Twitch championship tonight. Against Hillbilly Jim. Uh, Zorsa Goblin is number three. Hillbilly Jim is actually number four. 
Chris underscore Benner is now following. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Chris Benoit. Ben, wow. Welcome. Very sorry for the nonsense you're going to see here. We kick back. Just relax. Enjoy some fantasy wrestling. So we've got Rustic Thor. He's going one on one against uh, Demon Resica. Here we go. Jeffy calls for the bell. Demon Rustica forces Rustic Thor into the corner. It looks like they're locked up there. Jeffy's going to call for a break, and he gets one. And again, now Demon Rustica with the arm bar, working that arm, just trying to turn it over. Rustic Thor reverses, works on his own arm uh, into a... Uh, takes Actually, takes down Rustica. Shot to the head. Rusik Thor just unloading with left hands. And down goes Rusika. I don't think he was expecting the force of those blows to be so strong. But will lift up Thor and just drop him on his face. Trying to wipe the hair off his upper lip. It just seems like to be a slug matcher now. Thor with a snap suplex. Rusica rolls away. Oh my goodness. Picks up Thor. Big military press slam. Oh goodness. Picks him up by his head and slams him down. Demon Rusica showing that he is the stronger of the two. At least that's what he thinks. As a, throws him away into the ropes. Looks like Thor is looking like he's in trouble now. Gets a knee to the face. Thor will roll to the outside of the ropes. Hello, Matty B. How are you doing? Down goes Thor. Rissica on the top ropes. Oh my god. Rissica Thor to his feet. Oh, big cross body off the top ropes. That is going to do a ton of, of uh, d damage there. Uh, I'm doing okay. Could be worse. Could, could, could be better. Demon Rusica tried to pick up Rustic Thor. And Rustic Thor is like, no. Delivers a DDT. In response to that flying cross body from the top ropes. That was crazy. Thor. Oh! Grabbed Demon Rusica. Now they're just facing off against each other. And Demon Rusica delivers the lumbar check. Goes in for the cover. Jeffy in position. Two. Rusic Thor gets his shoulder up. Rusica kick to the midsection. What's he going to do now? Get some up. It's power slam. Not power slam. Almost did like a uh, blind buster again. Has him by the head, but applying the claw. Rustic Thor. Shot to the midsection. Another shot breaks the hole. He was trying to get the submission. And clotheslines Rissica down to the outside. I don't think Thor took too kindly to having his head crushed. Now unloads, and Rissica responds with an elbow, blocks the shot, gets a shot, and uh, Thor responds with a, with, a, with a punch of his own. Rissica picks up Thor. Thor floats over, pushes him off. Big shot by Thor, and another one. Takes down... Demon Rissica. I don't know what the count's at. Another shot to the head. Throws him over the barricade into the crowd. And he'll follow. We're at a seven count. Rissica punches Thor back into the padded area. And they both get back in the ring before the ten count. Good lord. I thought that was going to be a count out for sure. A double count out. 
I would say uh, Northern Light Suplex will pick him up and finish him off with a Brain Buster. That might be it for Thor, but no, he's not even going to go in for the pin attempt. He's just going to have one, one, one more kick. And now wailing away on the helmet. Trying to dent it. I don't know what he's doing. Thor is in big trouble. Picks him up. Lumbar check. That could be it. Risica. If he goes in for that cover, yeah, this is this, this has got to be it. One, two, and three. Demon Risica is your winner. Demon Risica with that win might be able to get up into the number one position. It will just depend on Sephiroth doing being being able to defend his battle. And look at this. Show of respect by Rustic Thor after getting what? One bet on Demon Rustica. I'll be Fraga. <laughs> okay. Sir, final match of the segment. Uh, we have Dr. Mindbender. Mindbender sorts the goblin. Uh, Sephiroth and Macho Man. This is the King of the Ring qualifier number three. It's an elimination match. Uh, multi betting is enabled, maximum bets 500. The winner of this will get a berth into the King of the Ring match at the Queen of the Ring pay-per-view on June 15th. The winner of that match will be crowned King of the Ring and the first men's Canadian champion. Uh, the other winners that we have had so far for the men's side is... Darman and Demon Rissica both have spots number one and two. Tonight we are going to, to the uh, York, find out in New York. Pounds, New York. Um, anyways, uh, so we're going to find out who is going to be uh, put into slot number three and four. Dr. Mindbender made his debut a couple weeks ago. Actually, two weeks. Actually, last week. Wow, LB's betting on Macho Man. I would love for him to win. That would be awesome. You saw that Alpha, Alpha Flight loss? I know, man. <laughs> and it wasn't, and it, I mean, it wasn't, I mean, I know you got pinned, but I, man, I was getting my butt whooped all over the place. Man. And his opponent, first, from the pack, weighing in at 300 pounds. We'll, we'll, we'll get, we'll get wins, I'm sure. It will happen. It will happen. Although I think with the Backwoodsmen, they did they win? Uh, Backwoodsmen, uh, they did win. Yeah, they did win. So we'll probably be ranked last, but that's okay. It will it will be even more sweet when we beat the Grinders. Zorts the Goblin looking. <laughs> I feel I feel like we're both like uh like 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 Guardian in issue twelve where he's on fire and his wife comes in. Oh my god! And he just <laughs> Internet champion, Seth 
I don't I don't I don't think we're quite at 12 yet at 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 that 10 countdown yet, you know, but <laughs> uh, it's smoldering a little. There is your Twitch champion. He will be defending the belt at the end of the night. Sephiroth was last playing Doom Eternal. I think I was watching some of that too. And it reminds me of Doom 2. Whereas Doom 3 just sucked. And here is one of my personal favorites. I've got to say is my favorite of all time. I, I think like he's... Macho Man. Uh, I think Undertaker would be too perfect. And Ted, Ted DiBiase would be like a tie for three and four. But but Macho is my number one guy for sure. For sure. Hopefully he can win tonight. And then you guys can really say it's rigged. Hey, Wolfpack. <laughs> All right. Hey, that betting worked out pretty good. All right. This is an elimination style match. The last one left. We'll move on to the King of the Ring match. June 15th. We have Zorts going head to head against Macho Man. He'll throw him out. Sephiroth does a throwaway slam on Dr. Mindbender. And pinfalls can only happen inside the ring or submissions as well. Can only happen inside the ring. There's no countouts and no DQs. So I don't know why people just don't start bringing out chairs. Actually, maybe there is DQs. I don't know. Oh, all four of them. Oh, my God. Zorts with the big military press slam on the Macho Man. It's not looking too good for Macho Man. Hey, why is my stream... What's going on? There we go. I got a circle of death, but I don't have any drop frames or anything like that. That's weird. Uh, bet rate doesn't seem like it changed. I don't know. Weird. Weird. Oh, weirdo. That's right. Enter the boss battle giveaway. First ticket is free. Every ticket after that costs 500 pebbles. Use ticket and then a number to buy your tickets. Example, ticket five will purchase five tickets. Or, sorry, exclamation mark ticket five will purchase five tickets. You'll only get charged for four, though. Uh, we are going to be drawing that after this match. Dr. Mindbender has a Twitch champion up. And big arm drag off the top ropes. Oh my goodness, that was a long way down. I don't think this is going to impact Sephiroth's uh, chances to defend the belt tonight. Hope hopefully not. Wow, moon salt off the top rope, Doctor Mindbender. Taking it to Sephiroth. Goes in for the cover. Only gets a one count, though. Really? After all that, he only gets a one count. Maybe that's why he's the Twitch champion. After Mindbender misses with the knee, Sephiroth got out of the way. 
Slugs Meidenbender from behind. Gets him down between the legs. Picks him up and drops him with a Yokosuka cutter. Sephiroth waiting for Mindbender to get to his feet and slugs him again, trying to knock him down one more time. Mindbender, though, what the heck was that? Sort of like a suplex, but not really. Jeffy counting it. Only a two count now this time. <laughs> oh, Wolfpack. Haha, <laughs> you fool. I hope you're doing well, dude. I don't know what move that was, but that was the uh, Dr. Mindbender. Oh, wow, Mindbender pins Sephiroth. Holy crud. Wow. We're down to three. All three are on the outside. Zorts and Macho Man have been on the outside. Beauty. Oh, no. Zorts threw Dr. Mindbender on the corners of the steel steps. I mean, that's going to leave a mark, you know? It's going to leave a mark. Zorts has just been cleaning house. I think he's been cleaning the, um, ma the, ma the Macho Man's clock. Macho Man just now getting back to his knees. And now Zorts is working on Dr. Mindbender. Throws him into the bottom of the commentator's table. Macho Man throws in. Zorts will follow. Kick to the midsection. Zorts is... Uh Gets his bell rung by Macho Man. Charged into him. Zorts ain't going anywhere. I'm going to have to do more than that to knock down the big green man. Good clothesline from behind. Dr. Mindbender starts attacking from behind too. Because as one does when you're part of Cobra. Wow, Zorts missed with the clothesline, but Dr. Mindbender didn't. Takes Macho Man out. Zorts rolls out. Mindbender on the top rope. Drop kick. I think he got a piece of Zorts, but I think he landed poorly. Mindbender has not moved. Dr. Mindbender has not moved. Oh, there he goes. I think... I thought he was dead. Like, he literally did not move at all. Seriously, Bob. Serious. Why? Why? Kill him. Kill him. Oh, Macho Man was going to drop, was going to deliver a neck breaker. Spec Shadow 09 is now following. Hey, Spec Shadow. Welcome. Welcome to our wrestling federation. Zorts wailing away on Mindbender. It seems like this has been all Zorts. Uh, I mean, I know that Dr. Mindbender... What the heck? Zorts the Goblin off the top rope. Big cross body block. Takes Mindbender down. I mean, I, I, Mindbender's not dead after that. And, and delivers a lariat that almost took his head off. Macho Man able to reverse it into a reverse bulldog. Macho Man and Zorts have been going toe to toe down in the down outside the ring, pretty much for most of the match. Mindbender throws in Macho Man. Zorts will follow. One of these one of these three men got to fall soon. There we go, Macho Man again with the neck breaker, drops it in. And uh, takes a piece of Zorts, delivers a Russian leg sweep. And now Zorts laid out in the middle of the ring. Macho Man going to the top rope. Here he goes. Flying elbow. Connects. That could be it for Zorts. Macho Man with the cover. 
One, two, and three. Zoritz has been eliminated by the Macho Man. One of these two remaining men will go on to the King of the Ring match June 15th into spot number three of eight. Mindbender with the cover on Macho Man. Macho kicks out. Looks like there might be a cut on Macho Man's ribs. Maybe that's just a lighting thing. Macho may not have enough gas in the tank to take on Mindbender. And that is it. Yep. His 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 fight with Zortz took so much out of him. Dr. Mindbender is going to go to the King of the Ring match. Wow. I am disappointed. <laughs> I wanted Macho Man. Dr. Mindbender, Macho Man, Zortz, and Sephiroth. Wow. Wow. Here is your winner, Dr. Dr. Mindbender. Nobody bet on Mindbender. Okay, we're going to set up our next set of matches. I am going to play my crowd sound effects. Okay. And we'll set up our next shows. Flying through space. We should have seven here because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wait a second. Uh, 2K, did you bork me here? Like, did you bork stuff up? <sighs> okay, how to do this. We're going to have to have the boss match and the Twitch Championship match outside of Universe Mode. Which is fine. So we'll still keep the ticket stuff going up, going, until that segment. Man. All right. But we can still buy tickets. when stuff like this happens. I don't think it was 2K's fault. I think it was mine. I think I hit next show when I should have exited the show. Because the next show was set up for five matches and not seven. So that one's on me.
almost done. Sitting at match number four, which is our other King of the Ring qualifier. Should be an elimination style match. And we have Zartan in that. Andrew the Butcher. A bomb. And Mr. Perfect. Oh, No more crowd. Get him out of there. We're going to start with uh, the Heart Foundation. The Heart Foundation. Go head to head with uh, Wolfpack, with Elder and the Butcher and Wolfpack. Uh, Elder and the Butcher and Wolfpack are both are the holders of the men's tag team money in the bank briefcase. It is not on the line. We don't do that. Unless the holders agree to, like, put it on the line, then I would totally do that. But betting is open. We will do the boss match drawing uh, at the end of this segment because the last two matches have to be played outside of universe mode because I screwed it up. Give me some pebbles, dude. The heart foundation. There you go. There you go. You should be able to do your bet again. Right, the Hitman Heart and Jimmy Anvil Nightheart. The Heart Foundation are ranked uh, looks like sixth out of the nine non-champion teams. Where are their opponents? And their opponents, accompanied by Cinda, and at a combined weight of 535 pounds, Wolf, Pat, and Al Grimm, the Butcher. Wow, Zinda and Wolfpack are merging. Look at that. It's like they're almost like they're one person. Zinda is the women's champion. Getting that belt off of Lady Red two weeks ago. Don't know who she'll be going up against at the Queen of the Ring pay-per-view. But we'll find out in a couple weeks. LB, did you notice I, I I switched it back? <laughs> Wolfpack is owned by Wolfpack from the year sixty nine ninety one. He's come from the future to tell us how things have gone. Well and bo both, both well and poorly. 
And Elden the Butcher is owned by Wolfork82. They're last playing no game. Back with a fireman carry. Take down on Bret Hart. Throws Hart into the ropes. Seems like Wolfpack is not uh, going to give an inch here. He's, there's no feeling out. He's just going full tilt. Trying to wear Brett down. And again, we'll work on those traps. Working Brett down. Looking for a submission. But I don't think I've ever seen anybody submit to that. Brett spins around. Trips up Wolfpack. We'll get back over to Jim Neidhart. Tag in the anvil. Quick, quick tags are key. And uh, Wolfpack will just grab the anvil by the scruff of the neck. Takes him down with a snap mare. The anvil just gets right up and then eats a Wolfpack foot. Like, no, you get your arse down. <laughs> Wolfpack again assaulting the back. Gets the anvil up. And Irish whip into the corner. Wolfpack will tag in. Uh, I almost called him Wolfric. <laughs> Elder and the Butcher. Big boot to the face. Oh, my God. Stomping away. That was pretty vicious. It seemed like Bret Hart was cheering on that move, which seems odd to me. But, you know, 2K. I wonder if uh, Ukes' next game is going to be similar to this. Where you can make pretty much any kind of wrestler that you want, right? I'd really hope so. Because if it is, then, uh, then we might have some options, right? Red Hart is tagged back in. Betting is now closed. Oh, you just got one here. I'll open it up for a minute. There you go, Dave. Get it in there. Hurry. <laughs> Hurry, Dave. Get it in. Get your bet in. Bret Hart now in control of Eldrin. And just as I say that, gets leveled by a, by a short arm clothesline. Because that's how I roll. I jinx the heck out of people. Eldrin's going to set Hart up for an elevated DDT. And Jim Neidhart cheering along. Jimmy Hart just looking on. Eldrin drops the elbow. At one point, we, we've got to wonder when will they cash in their money in the bank. Either they got to tell me in chat, tell me in Discord... Or, uh, wait for my random rolls to hit. I'm going to tell you, I have rolled for the entire year, so I know exactly when they're going to hit. It's just now it's a matter of whether they want to cash it in beforehand or not. But I can't tell anybody when it's going to get cashed in. Eldrin is just taking the hitman apart. The fans are not. Oh, no. Here goes Eldrin with the knees. He'll back up. Maybe he's going to. Uh, he's not sure what to do with Hart. Pacing the ring. Sizing him up. I mean, he hasn't really done any moves other than just putting his boot to him. That's pretty much it. Delivers a knee right to the side of the head. That's going to give you a concussion. And another knee right to the top of the head. Good Lord. Eldrin is getting fired up. And delivers an RKO. That might be it. 
Jim Neidhart coming in will break up that pin attempt. Only got a one count. Wolfpack grabs Neidhart. Nope, Neidhart throws him into the corner. Eldrin grabs Neidhart this time. Picks him up and hangs him off the top ropes. The fans are not liking this turn of events. They are booing like crazy. Big clothesline. Almost took Bret Hart's head off. Goes in for the cover, and Neidhart is like right there. Is like, no, no, I'm not. I'm not letting you do it. Eldrin again with a huge clothesline takes Neidhart out. This is when you go for the pin. Go for the pin, Eldrin. Good lord. The Hart Foundation. Look at them. They're both just laying there. Wolfpack is tagged in now. I think. I think that was their chance to win. Uh, although they are doing well. And you know how... You, and there it is. Wow, there's the traps tap. I guess people do submit to the trapezoid claw thing. Oh, my God. Eldrin, the Butcher, and Wolfpack are your winners. Uh... Bret Hart submitted to Wolfpack. Man. Three bets on Eldrin and Wolfpack. Yeah. It's probably the wise bet. There it is. Jeff is like standing awfully close. Like he's just just in there. Setting up the betting for our next match. Big back for load. Yep. Congratulations, sir. All right. We're going to move on to our next match. We have a triple threat match. This is one fall to a finish. Max of bet 500. Betting time, five minutes. No multi-betting. But it is one fall to a finish. We have Sir Garrick versus Slam Williams versus LB Fraga. And I'm drunk again. Sorry. Sorry. Whoops. You bet on the wrong team and it works? From Asgard, weighing in at 250 pounds, the giant killer. Were you, were you, were you really going to bet on Brett and Jim? Man, I am tired tonight. Where is Sir Garrick owned by Sir Garrick? I'm going to chat. Been super busy with a new uh, newborn. I remember how that is. Good luck with the sleep. Good luck with your sleep cycle. Sam the Slam Williams owned by Voodoo Rush. He is our uh, principal inspiration for our own stream. If you like fantasy wrestling, definitely go check him out. For sure. For sure. He does play other stuff. Like right now he's playing Friday the 13th. Uh, it's, it's like for me it's wrestling and uh, just hanging out when they do their horror games. 
But he does play uh, Friday the 13th a lot and uh, Dead by Daylight, Hide or Die, that, that, that kind of stuff. That kind of stuffs. Oh, LB. And That's legit. Wisconsin, weighing in at 180 pounds, LB Fraga. LB Fraga, last playing Saints Row the third. <laughs> and it and that's true. He was last playing Saints Row. <laughs> With Swing Cat slurping. I don't know what it was, man. The first, as soon as I came in to watch the stream, and I saw that you had him in there, I was like, I bet you I'm gonna hear him eating or drinking or something. And the, and within a minute, <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, oh my god, every time. And I, and I and I was laughing at you the other the other time too, uh, not last time, but uh, there was one time I don't know what he was doing. He was making salad or something. And you're and you're like, can you be louder? And he's like, what? <laughs> like, I don't know. Oh my god! Here we go! Whoa! Sir Garrick went to go take out LB, and LB's like, nope. LB just noped right out of there. That's where the VR goggles, I think, uh, may not be... Like, I don't think that they should be allowed if they give him that kind of an advantage. Sir Garrick doing cartwheel jumps. <laughs> I, don't, didn't, I don't think he really connected. That'll be Frogger, though. Uh, gets an elbow to the face. He's going to go start working on Slam. Oh, gets, the sh gets his bell rung. Shot to the head. Sir Garrick's got LB up. One leg, then the other. Shot to the VR goggles. Oh, no. Sir Garrick off the top ropes. Oh, my God. Big superplex. And I think Slam caught a piece of that, too. LB will roll out. Remember, this is one fall to a finish. There are no countouts, though. Slam with the backbreaker on Sir Garrick. Slam another shot. Just unloading. Fist after fist. And then throws Sir Garrick ar around. And Elby tried to sneak up behind Slam. Couldn't do it. Slam has got him way up. Drops him right on his face. And levels and almost takes his head off, VR, VR glasses and all. With that massive lariat. That'll be with the back brain kick. <laughs> Misses with the clothesline. Trying to take Slam from behind. Turns him around. Lifts the leg up. Big leg drag. LB, what's your, uh, let's see here. LB, did you already have your King of the Ring uh, match? Oh, wow. Sir Garrick. I, I missed that. Son of a gun. Shh. Terrible. Sir Garrick pins LB. I think, LB, you might have had yours last week, right? So I don't see you on the thing anymore. On my remaining matches. Here is your winner, so, Giant Garrick. One bet, Dave the Hunter. Bet correctly. The hunter bet uh, correctly uh, on the Asgardian 
Sir Garrick. We'll start with our next match. We're going to have LaVistus go one on one with Wolfpack. LaVistus, we saw earlier tonight calling out Zorts the Goblin about his hate of ketchup on steak and all things mayo. Now we know that LaVistus uh, did interfere in a match of Zorts' uh, last week as well. Set the betting up. Maximum bet 500. He is one half of the tag team champions, the Grinders. I'm going to get that in before JoJo he screws it up. To the ring from parts unknown, weighing in at 350 pounds, one half of the champions. One half of the tag team champions, Lavistus. It's gonna go one on one with one half of the tag team money in the money in the bank uh, team holders, Wolfpack. Wolfpack with his manager, the women's world champion, Zinda. Wolfpack getting a little bit of uh, scouting, I guess. He's going to get a match against Levisus. Get some, get, get some, uh, being like he's going to be able to feel out Levisus a little bit. Before they cash in their money in the bank. Briefcase. The title shot. Here we go. Levistus versus Wolfpack. Jeffy Ring calls for the bell. Levistus will start off with a big power slam. That's a whole lot of beef right there. Right down. Slammed on the man from uh, Jacksonville. Clubbing away at Wolfpack. Wolfpack has not started this match off well at all. A forearm to the face. And Levistus picks up Wolfpack. Big body slam. Oh my goodness. Oh, another big shot by Levistus. Wolfpack will start to fight back. Kick and a shot to the gut. Another one. Throws off, throws him off the rope, drops down, another drop down, and a third. Wolfpack showing, hey, I like to drop down, and Lavistus is like, yeah, you know what? Me too. I don't know, I don't know where that was going. Lavistus picks up Wolfpack again, and a, delivers a huge power slam. Levisus has a huge weight advantage here. Oh, <laughs> Dave DeHunter with the late bet. <laughs> Cutting it close. Looking to crush Wolfpack's skull. Down goes Wolfpack. Picked him right back up, though, and gets him up into the bear hug. Wolfpack, can, can he grab the rope? I think he, uh, no, he did not. But he is fighting his way out. Wow, LB even with a more with with a far later bet. Two bets for Wolfpack, even though Wolfpack's getting uh, thrashed here. There's an Irish whip, and down goes Lavistus. Wow, it's almost like they knew. What the heck, man? Wolfpack rams the knee down, kick to the back.
Perhaps it's time for Wolfpack to take charge and do... He's got Lavistus by the throat. Picks him up and choke slam. Oh, I forget what this move is called, man. And I looked it up too. Oh no, never mind. Not this one. This is a double double choke slam. Uh, Jeffy for the cover. Three. Wow. Are you guys like psychic or something or what? Like, what's up with that? How? How? Uh, I'm I'm stunned. Stunned. <laughs> Betting is now closed. <laughs> Jesus. Here is your winner, Wolfpack. Where is your winner, Wolfpack? And Zorts was nowhere to be seen. And LB are your wieners. Uh, we're going to do multi betting on this one. This is our King of the Ring qualifier number four. We have Zartan will be number one. Eldrin the Butcher, number two. A Bomb, number three. And Mr. Perfect will be number four. This is an elimination style match. Multi betting is allowed. Maximum bet 500. The winner of this will meet. Uh, will 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 get spot number four. And we'll join Doctor Mindbender. And Demon Rissica and Starman in that match. Making his way to the ring from Florida, weighing in at 175 pounds, the villain. Zartan, member of Cobra. Zartan is a Florida man. He is. So his twin brother and sister, like like those two, uh, Zandar and Zorana, they were both born in London. Uh, Zartan, though, uh, his birthplace has never really been known. However, his uh, base of operations is the Florida Everglades. And Bob is all up into my grill again, because why wouldn't he be? You want to keep? You want to keep doing it? <laughs> Doofus. Here is Eldrin the Butcher. And his opponent. Owned by Wolfric eighty two. From Asgard, weighing in at two hundred forty five pounds, El Grim the Butcher. Freaking cat. No shadows for King Bob. No. No. No shout outs for King Bob. We saw Wolf we saw Wolfwork. We saw El we saw El during the Butcher's partner, Wolfpack. Just beat Levistus. Bob plays lol. <laughs> and from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 220 pounds, A. Bob. Oh, shout out for Natty B. 
251. Because I gotta say it like that. Although now he's probably gonna be like, dude, dude, what? What are you doing? One half of the Alpha Flight tag team. Who will one day be tag team champions. This is his shot to get into the King of the Ring match and possibly become the Canadian champion. That would be well, I mean, that, I mean, it's like the belt was made for him. And from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, weighing in at 257 pounds, Mr. Perfect. I think if A-Bomb doesn't win this match, a lot of people are going to be pretty upset. A lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of Canadians are going to be very sorry and very uh, disappointed. You're saying it like that just made me <laughs> feel. Pe people in my home talk like that are worse, <laughs> and Maddie will be the most upset. Maddie B two two fifty one two fifty one there. Is Mr. Perfect. And the gun, the gun, the gun, the, the, the gun swat, the gum swat. Here we go. Last person left will get that spot. Get the number four position at the King of the Ring. Mr. Perfect working on Eldrin. A-Bomb waiting for Zartan to get up. Doesn't wait anymore. Drops a knee right on the hooded head. And we'll follow Zartan out of the ring. Zartan was waiting for him. Big back brain kick, I think, uh, didn't get him in the back of the head, got him right in the side of the face. And we got all four members of this match out uh, out of the ring. A-Bomb will roll back in, or somebody threw him back in. A-Bomb in the middle of the ring. Looks like he's hurt a little bit. He'll climb back out. The betting is now closed. A-Bomb's got Eldrin. Snap suplex. The twins aren't in the match, so I had to go after Zartan first. <laughs> That's right. That's right. The Crimson Twins, uh, I think that was... I don't think that... That actually, you know what? That was their first win. <laughs> uh, we gave them their first win. The Crimson Twins got their first win last night against um, Alpha Flight. So Alpha Flight has got one draw and one loss. But they will not lose their faith in themselves because they know that they're going to be great. Perfect drops a backbreaker. A-Bomb drops a leg drop. Drops a leg drop, drops a, drops a leg, man. Where's your heart tonight? And another leg drop off off of the ropes. Mr. Perfect will drag Zartan back in. And uh, oh man, the size A's out of nowhere. A bomb with the cover. Two. Mr. Perfect just gets out of that. That was out of nowhere. I thought Perfect was done. Now A-Bomb looking for a submission on Perfect. Wrenching the head back, putting all that torque on the bot. On the, on the, there it is. Mr. Perfect taps to A-Bomb. Submission. We're left with three. Does the game have little people options? Maybe we just need to add Puck to the O oh, equation and then we'll win. <laughs> No, no, it doesn't, unfortunately. No, I think I think uh, I think if they did that, I think they'd get in trouble. 
Big vertical suplex by Eldrin. And now Eldrin's got A-bomb throwaway slam. Oh my goodness. It looked like A-bomb may have fallen awkwardly. Eldrin is... Oh my god. Eldrin delivers the RKO. A-bomb in the middle of the ring. Two. A-bomb just gets out. A-bomb is still alive. Drop kick by Eldrin. A-bomb back up to his feet already. Uh, WWE had that? Uh, yeah, I, the last one I watched that was like that was at WrestleMania 3. Uh, King Kong Bundy versus Hill Billy Jim. And both of them had two, uh, two of them on each team. And then uh, King Kong Bundy did a splash on one of them. And all four of them began to gang up on King Kong Bundy because they're like, what the hell, dude? A-bomb kicks out. You went to college with Tiny the Terrible? I have no idea who that is. Oh, no. Zartan dropped A-bomb down right on his head. Big DDT. He'll stagger to his feet. I think A-bomb's in big trouble here. Off the ropes, Zartan will... Oh, no! Inverted atomic drop. Rest in peace. The pills. Yeah, there goes A-bomb after the inverted atomic drop. And a nation is weeping. Eldrin with the cover on Zartan. He was a low person wrestler many a year ago. No, I never I, like any time that they would start, you know, trying to do that. Uh, like I wasn't really a big fan of 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 horn horn swoggle. Eh. Eh. Matty B's A-bomb has been eliminated. A-bomb will not be the first Canadian champion. Oh, my God. Zartan really taking it to Eldrin, going in for the cover. Two. Eldrin just kicks out. Zartan shot to the side of the head. Okay, so Canada needs to declare a rivalry on the Dreadnoughts. You know, I was thinking about bringing in Buzzer, Ripper, and Torch. I was thinking about it. Uh, however, I'd have to remove, like, Doctor Doom. Uh, a few others. <laughs> Eldrin. Eldrin secures his position. In the King of the Ring in spot number four. Congratulations, Eldrin. Although Eldrin is technically a Canadian, like the person that owns him, but the character is not. Sartan, A Bomb, Mr. Perfect. Let me just add Eldrin the Butcher has got it will join Starman, Demon Risica, and Dr. Mindbending in that King of the Ring match. And we got three matches left. But a tag team match right here. Winner, Eldrin Grim. the Butcher. Oh, somebody bet on Elder and the Butcher. Who bet on him? Dave DeHunter. Dave DeHunter, he does well. You you do very well at betting. Good lord. Right, we're going to have a non-title matchup with the tag team champions. Right meow. Right, meow. Okay, so the Grinders versus Brothers of Destruction. Not for the titles. But if the Brothers win, they'll get extra points because they'll beat the champions, even though it's not for the title. 
Vincent Johnson and Lavistus, the tag team champs, the grinders, against Blood Rage and Demon Risica. Brothers of Destruction. Vincent Johnson could be Sasquatch. Vincent Johnson is American, though. He couldn't be. He couldn't be. Levistus could, because he's from Parts Unknown. And he's hairy, too. <laughs> oh, Dave, you got to fix your bet, man. Here are the tag team champions. Wow, the fans do not like them. As soon as you hear that music. Yeah, Dave, your bet is uh, you need to add a space between the one and the five. There you go, buddy. All the way to the race, at a combined weight of 735 pounds, the L Stun and Vincent Speedy Pee Wee Johnson, Johnson. the Grinder. Grinders. <laughs> I like that Levistus takes on the role of Shawn Michaels in that. And skips along, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> smiling away. Brothers of Destruction are ranked, okay, they're in the middle of the pack. One, two, three, four, fifth out of nine. So exactly halfway, actually. That's true. That's true. Oh, we didn't do a shout out for Swing Cat. Swing Cat is the owner of Vincey Johnson. I was playing jigsaw puzzle. At a combined weight of 635 pounds, the Reaper and Demon, the brother of destruction. Blood Rage and Demon Risica, owned by Sun 1 and Sun 2, respectively. Looking to work their way up the ranks. Well, it is possible with a win here, if they win their next two weeks, you know, considering like if the other teams lose and all that, you know, uh, it's possible that the Brothers of Destruction could wind up in first place. But Warriors 2 have won. Uh, Demolition has lost. L, L, uh, L, Green and Wolfpack uh, won. Blade Runners lost. Whoa, Levisus tries to take Blood Rage's head off. Blood Rage ducked and just delivered a boot, but couldn't take Levisus down. But Levisus will nail Wood uh, <laughs> Blood Rage with a big clothesline and start trying to tear his face off. Oh my God! Throws him into the ropes. Or into the turnbuckle and follows up with a big clothesline. Down goes Blood Rage. Levisus drops a leg. And a stomp. Wouldn't it be interesting to see Zorts the Goblin come on out here? There's a knee to the midsection. It's a tag to Demon Rissica. Levistus off the ropes and double back body drop. Demon Rissica gets tripped up by Levistus, who is not done yet. And he's going to try to tear 
Demon Rissica's face off. Oh my god. Irish whip into the turnbuckle. Follows up with a clothesline to the back of the head. Down goes Demon Rizica. The Brothers of Destruction are not looking too good here. Whoa, big chop. Forearm to the head. Another clubbing blow. And another. Levisus is just going to town on Demon Rizica. Rizica off the ropes. No, man. Levisus missed with the clothesline. Oh. Demon Rizica responds with a huge military press slam. Dropping the big hairy guy on his back. I mean, the big hairy guy with the red mask. And Lavistus, out of nowhere, will grab Rissica. But I think uh, the bear hug was too close to the ropes, and referee called for the break. Or whip into the corner, and Lavistus is going to tag in Johnson for the first time here. Levistus got him up on his shoulder. What is going on? Like a power slam suplex. And these are the tag team champions. They're showing why they are the champs. Because words are hard. Wow. Demon Rissa got, got right, just slid off of the grease off of Johnson's shoulders dropped a, a DDT. Johnson went out to recover a bit. Came back in and got an Irish whip for his troubles. And now uh, an avalanche. Down goes Johnson. Stomp to the back. Demon Resica trying to rub the grease off of Johnson's face. Not so sure. And he's dragging him around the ring. Don't drag him around too much. You're going to mark up the ring man it's gonna it's gonna take like a week to get those marks out all those grease stains we go northern light suplex and he'll jump over gets johnson up and drops him down into a brain buster drags him to the middle of the ring Goes in for that cover. Jeffy won. And only, a, only a one count. Only a one count. Jessica delivering a series of elbows. Trying to continue. <laughs> trying to wear Johnson down. Johnson to his feet. Gets lifted up. And lumbar check. Johnson... Might be in big, big trouble. We saw Demon Rissica earlier today beat Rustic Thor and only a two, almost a three count. It was just a two count. Lavistus lost. Uh, did Johnson wrestled today? No, he didn't. Johnson did not have a singles match. That was yesterday. It seems like uh, the momentum has turned and shifted here. While it was all grinders, now the brothers are taking their turn. And wailing away on Vincent Johnson. Seems like Johnson's a weaker link here. Big DDT by Blood Rage. Johnson crawling over to Levistus. Makes the tag. In comes a big red machine. Takes down the other red machine. Oh, and uh, takes Blood Rage down again. Big uppercut. Blood Rage staggering to his feet into the full Nelson face slam. That might be it. Ah, he might be too close to the ropes. He was. That was a rope break. Demon Risco was going to break that up, though. And Levisus chased Rissica out. Oh, turns Blood Rage over into a Boston Crab. Blood Rage crawling to the ropes and does get a rope break. Wow. Johnson not feeling so good on the side of the ropes there. Oh, my God. I don't know what that was. But that is a big knee across the chest. Blood Rage is in big trouble. And now, Levistus 
has got Blood Rage into the bear hug. No ropes around. And there it is. There are your winners, the tag team champions, the grinders. Blood Rage submits to the Vistas. It was a good showing, but they're not quite there yet as a team. Not quite there yet. There are two bets on the grinders. Those are wise bets, I feel. Can you dig it? Payouts. And Vincent Speedy Peewee Johnson, the grinder. Okay, we're going to do the ticket, the draw. If you want to get your tickets, do them now. Get them done now, because while we wait, I'm going to go do some. Uh, I'm not going to leave. Uh, I'm going to do uh, some behind the scenes me maintenance make sure that the matches are going to be fair and they won't crap out on us uh so we'll have to get out of this because we can't do the match in universe mode i don't have enough spots left uh so we'll get out of there if you want your ticket you better get it now okay so we're gonna have sephiroth will go one-on-one -on -one with hillbilly jim i just want to make sure that sephiroth is okay uh, Sephiroth is a 100. Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, and Hillbilly Jim is a 100. Okay, let's go check tag teams because I believe I was monkeying around with stuff. Uh, with Sephiroth. I have Sephiroth part of any tag team. Okay. Oh, here's the back Wizman. Okay, so that's fine. No tag team moves. That's good. That means it won't crash. And Butchers from below do not exist. So that's good. I don't think Sephiroth... Oh, maybe there's still a slam Sephiroth team. Let's just... Yeah, there it is. Uh, we're going to delete that team because they're no longer a tag team. Okay, and let's check out Venom. Oh, hold on. No, no, wait, hold on. Dang it. Make sure. All right, uh, delete. Yes. Yes, save my changes. And superstars, make sure Venom is still maxed out. Man Venom, 100. All right, all good. Okay. Okay. So, first match is going to be one on one. Oh, you know what? Let's make sure our championship belt is assigned properly. Title management, uh, superstars. Let's do custom. There it is. Ah, see? It's outside of universe mode. So we gotta set this up properly. Uh, Sephiroth is is the Twitch champion. There we go. Okay, that should be fine. Du -du -du. Entrance is on. Momentum fast. We have got Venom. Oops. Venom. Versus, I don't know. You you tell me. This is what the tickets are for. Let's move this over here. Who does Venom fight? That is up to you. Uh, 
me to like that. Do it like that. It's up to you. Uh, I'm actually you 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 know what? I actually am gonna get up for a little bit and uh, give you guys one more chance to get any extra tickets. First tickets free. Every ticket after that has 500 points. The winner. So if you, the wrestler beats Venom, they get into the championship ladder match because that mat, that belt is vacant. It's going to be the number one, two, three, four wrestlers plus whoever beats Venom in a ladder match to get the championship at the Queen of the Ring pay-per-view. Be right back and we'll leave it like this. Okay, here we go. I'm going to draw the first ticket at uh, the 14 mark. So better get them in now. I have a Mott's Clamato Caesar Extra Spicy. Yes, please. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. All right. And we close. We're going to draw a winner. When I draw the winner, I am going to start a timer. You have one minute to get, get to me. Say something in chat. And then tell me who you want to fight uh, Venom. And it cannot be... Or sorry, not... Yeah, and it cannot be... Uh, uh, nobody's be beaten Venom yet, so it can it can can be anybody. Can be anybody. Uh, where's the thing? Okay, it's right here. Is this it? Yes, it is. Okay, drawing a winner. Right, meow. And Maddie B. Maddie B. Any male single wrestler that's currently on the roster. And I'm gonna start your timer. Uh, now, do, 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 Maddie B, Maddie B needs to give us something in chat. Do, 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 do,
you see on the singles roster. <laughs> I I think that's all I've got. <laughs> Mr. Matty B. Your time is winding down, sir. 20 seconds to say something in the chat. 15. Oh my God. Don't quit your day job. Uh, yeah, this is my day job, right? Seven. Oh my God. Maddie B is going to miss it. Maddie B is going to miss it. Oh no. Maddie B. Maddie B has missed it. Rip. So we're going to draw another winner. And LB. Ah, it's too late, Maddie. <laughs> it's too late, man. LB. Another count out. I know. Oh, no. LB. That's just rubbing salt in, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Terrible. LB. Pick somebody that's on this male singles roster to fight Venom. A bomb. Oh. That's that's so nice. That's so nice of you, LB. Wow. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. A bomb. Get. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. No, no. You know what? I don't care. Let's do it. It will be at the SummerSlam match. At the SummerSlam, wherever it is. Venom versus A-Bomb. I was just used to it being in universe mode. Thinking I was going to set up the next match. Here we go. One fall. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 640 pounds, Eddie Brock. There is the big boss symbiote. You thought I was going to say man, but I wasn't. I didn't. Ha ha. Uh, if A bomb can beat him. He will be the first one to beat him uh, in this segment. We'll get that uh, shot at the world champion, at the men's championship. I should really call it the universal championship. Really should. Venom typically doesn't get beaten, but it has been known to happen. Let's actually start the betting. Not bad. Uh, a bomb, maximum bet is going to be 1,000. Betting time will be uh, two minutes, starting now. And his opponent, accompanied by the captain, Marvelous. And from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Weighing in at 220 pounds, a bomb. A bomb. A, a, a bomb. <laughs> Man. A bomb uh, didn't quite get it done for the King of the Ring match. But this could be the next best thing. He could be. He, he, I win here and he could. He could be the champion and not just the Canadian champion. Now, if he does not win here, he could still get into that match as long as he ends up number one, two, three, or four. By the time the Queen of the Ring match starts, pay, pay, pay per view event starts. Wow. Two shots and couldn't knock Venom down. And then Venom just slaps him across the face.
Wow. Got a little bit of itch in the ear. Oh, Dave DeHunter is going all in on Venom. Drop kick right to the white spider in the middle of the back. Working on the arm now of Venom. I don't remember who Venom went up against last week, but I don't think it was a close one. I think Venom pretty easily smashed them. Pretty good. And there we go. Hurricane Rana into, into the ropes and uh, delivers the atomic bomb. Sorry, delivers the atomic bomb. Oh, Spider-Man. Yes. It was Spider-Man. And then we even said if Spider-Man won, we could we, we would get him back on the roster. And he did not. And Spider-Man even came out in his black costume. Oh, no. Venom. Uh, oh, I thought Ven I guess uh, A bomb reversed that. I should turn that off. Uh, er a bomb only with a one count. I don't know who this referee is. Wow, another drop kick can't take Venom down, and Venom swats away a back brain kick. Oh no! Venom slams A-Bomb down. Uh-oh. Oh, I think we're going to see some Sister Symbiote. We are. Here it is. Venom infects A-Bomb and drives him down. That could be it for the Canadian superstar. Pulled him away from the ropes. Goes in for the cover. Got one. Two. A-Bomb gets the arm up. Stomp right to the knee. The oh, oof. That looked a little low. That looked like it was right in the pills. Venom is going to work on the traps now, too, but in not in a submission hold way, apparently because there's a difference. I don't know what that difference is, but sure. Venom's got A-bomb up now. We pick him up and drives him down again. I, I, I almost thought he was going to go right through the mat. A-bomb responds with a jawbreaker. And it seemed like it didn't even affect Venom. He just throws him up and over top. A-Bomb is in big trouble. And now Venom's trying to rip the head off of A-Bomb. Perhaps trying to rip the mask off. Maybe he'll just use the mask as the excuse. I was just trying to take the mask off. Sorry his head came with it. <laughs> Venom now with another cover. Got one. Two and three. Venom is your winner. Sorry. <laughs> Got to hide his secret identity. Oh, cool Mad Dog. How do you join? Uh, if you are a sub, you can get a wrestler. Uh, if you've been a follower for like six, seven, eight, nine months, like if I know you well, you can get a wrestler. Usually, most people get wrestlers from being a sub. Uh, yep, because otherwise, uh, we just get folks who will come on in, drop a follow, create a wrestler. It takes about an hour to three hours to make it. And, Here is uh, your winner, and then we never see them again. That's no fun. <laughs> Venom is your winner. All right, we are going to have our last match in uh it's going to be for the twitch men's championship one of the only matches I ever won was against Venom. really eventually my luck has to uh so our last match tonight will be uh 
uh, we're not rematching. Uh, we'll be Sephiroth. We'll go one on one against Hillbilly Jim. Normal. Uh, we'll do. We'll set up the match. We are gonna go to the Assimilation Chamber. <laughs> Specially made for moments like this. All right. Last batch of the night. We're gonna have Sephiroth. Against Hillbilly Jim. Hillbilly Jim, Jim won the Battle Royal last night to get uh, a shot at this title. And uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, we're going to start the betting as soon as I get it set up here. Hillbilly Jim. And Sephiroth. Maximum bet is 1,000. Sephiroth defending uh, the title for the second time. Third time? Second time. Second time. Hillbilly Jim, former Twitch champion. I believe he defeated LB Fraga, I want to say. Maybe. Maybe. We go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Jojo, it's get it right. For the Internet Championship. So far, so good. Hillbilly Jim is Mr. Money in the Bank. Could cash that in to be the champion right now with nobody there to defend the belt, but said, nope, that's no way to win a championship. So he's holding on to that thing. I don't think Hillbilly Jim's ever seen the assimilation chamber before. I need to make this darker. I need to make this much more dark. Here's her champion, Sephiroth. Owned by... Sephiroth. Saw him earlier tonight in the King of the Ring qualifier number three, where he was eliminated first. And Dr. Mindbender won that. Introducing the challenger from Kentucky, weighing in at 320 pounds, Hillbilly Jim. There he is, the challenger. Introducing Hillbilly the Jim. champion from the pits of hell, <laughs> weighing in at 330 pounds, he is the internet champion, Seth Rock. He's from the pits of hell, otherwise known as North uh, Dakota, or something like that. <laughs> there he is giving. Oh, it is Jeffy too. Oh, that's right, because I did pick Jeffy, but I think I put Jeffy in like the referee garb, in like the stripes, whereas usually he's in the white shirt. There it is for the men's Twitch championship.
Here we go. Oh, man. Uh, we did not do the time limit. Nope. This is how we're going to do it. Because we're not in universe mode. And I forgot to do the... Uh, the appropriate match. So we're going to set that. Set that to 10 minutes. And there we go. There we go. If there is no winner, and that clock goes up, then the match will be a draw. And Sephiroth will retain his belt. I do have a custom match set up that I could do this. I just didn't do it because I am not pro tonight. I've been thrown off by some things and stuff. Sephiroth. Oh my goodness. Big avalanche. Down goes Hillbilly Jim. Yeah, this ring. This 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 arena needs to be much more dark. And I don't know how to make it darker. It needs, it needs to be smaller too. So I think venue one is no good. Anyways, I still like the rest of it though metal and all the pipes and stuff. Sephiroth drops the hillbilly gym down with a Yukasuka cutter. Waiting for the Kentucky man to get to his feet. We know it's going to be rock bottom time. Here it is. Down goes hillbilly gym. Oh my goodness. That might be it. Jeffy one, two, and three. Sephiroth defends the championship Sephiroth wins by pinfall <laughs> you forgot the hashtag it's it's a it's hashtag rigged Sephiroth is your winner. And Nobody here. bet on Sephiroth. Internet champion, Seth Raw. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, that's going to be it for tonight. We will be back tomorrow night, same time, 7 p.m. Eastern, for the women's matches. SGWF uh, Paragons, uh, where we will have uh, the remaining women's matches. Another 12 matches set up, ready to go. And uh, we'll have two more weeks of regular matches, and then our Queen of the Ring pay-per-view, June 15th. Have a good night, Elby. You all have a good night. Uh, I'm going to drop a small raid on uh, Voodoo just really quickly. And uh, we'll see where that goes. I will be streaming. Uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm streaming. Wow. I, for some reason, I thought today was Tuesday. But yeah, tomorrow is women's. 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, that's, that's, how it's, that's how it's going. That's how it's going. Right, let me do it like that. Let me do it like that. Let me go like this. Am I muted? I am muted. That's good. Um. Yeah, let's do it like this. You all have a good night. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Peace outside.